Um, let's get in to our grand finals. This is a best of five. We're starting off on Solaris. Both players have picked Protoss, which is their main race. Uh, so we're good to go. In the lower left-hand corner, we have Dragon Kite sees a hero. And his opponent in the upper right for Psystorm Gaming, it is Max Pax. Now, if you guys are watching this on Twitch, please consider giving the channel a follow. If you're checking out the YouTube video that I will inevitably post of this banger series, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. And maybe, if you're watching on Twitch, you know, check out the YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, hop over to the Twitch channel. Maybe give us a watch live one of these days. You know? The nice thing about YouTube is that you don't know that I only stream like twice a week. You know, because I post videos more than that usually. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like I'm more active on YouTube. This is going to be a banger of a finals. Good to see Hero in here. Frequent KSL winner Hero. We have a KSL coming this week on Friday. Excited for that. And he's going to go ahead and proxy a pylon right at the start for us. Now, Max Pax is looking pretty good. He just took down Astraea in a PvP. Looked very strong, particularly in game three of that series. But uh, let's see how he does here against Hero. It's going to be a very different style of play from Hero. I think than Estrella. Like, they can both be very aggressive. They can both macro very well. But they don't feel like similar players at all. So Max Pax, he's got to change gears in his brain. And what is Hero going to do with this? He has already sent the probe uh, across the scout. He's not putting anything down with the pylon just yet, but this pylon feels still a little sussy. Max Pax is going to go ahead and scout around for the proxy, but that is going to find that pylon. However, it could still be useful for warping things in at some point. We're going to try to sneak in with the Adept. Not happening. Max Pax is getting defensively set up. Funny, Max Pax went for the high ground gate here. I wonder if that's a specific thing against Hero. Or if it's, you know, maybe specific to this map. Oh, Hero lets this shade finish. That, that must be an accident, actually. I don't think he wanted to do that. Hero going straight for Phoenixes. He's expecting a Stargate from his opponent. He's absolutely correct in that assumption. And now as this Oracle comes in, there's going to be a Shield Battery and a Phoenix. And that is not what Max Pax is going to want to see. He sees the Stargate, sees Oracle it building Phoenixes, receiving. and immediately turns that Oracle around. Now, Phoenixes outpace Oracles, but, like, just barely. He's going to go for the recall on this one. But the Oracles, or the Phoenixes rather, are just going to come straight across the map. These Oracles can't do anything to defend them, obviously. But the Stalkers can. However, the Phoenix is going to go ahead and pick off one or two probes here. Just the one, it looks like. Sneak out. Maybe this uh, this will end up being a spotter pylon, because it so far hasn't done anything. So, yeah, so the, the they tried to play this game one time already, but I'm pr pretty sure it was Max Pax that had picked Terran or hadn't changed his race to Protoss. So we left the game, but weirdly it was a tie. It, it never says that. Usually one player leaves the game and it just says the other player won and it's, you know, whatever, we move on. I'm wondering if it is because they left at the exact same time because that would be actually insane. If they were able to leave at such the exact same time that the game thought it was a tie. I, I've genuinely never seen that happen. The only other thing I can think of is if the lobby host, 
who is the referee, left the game, and maybe that just ended the game as a tie. But I don't think so. I really don't think that's what happened. I think they left at the exact same time. Which is, it feels like a crazy coincidence to me that it's so much the, the same time that it said it was a tie. Anyways, let's talk about this game a little bit as there are things happening. Max Max is about to attack. Both players just killed some probes of their opponent. Nothing really super game ending or anything. Both players just, it was like, yeah, it was seven to seven workers killed. The Oracles did die, but they at least sacrificed themselves valiantly. And now Max Max has a bunch of Blink Stalkers. It's going to be tough for Hero to deal with. Hero's trying to get into an Immortal, and he's trying to get into uh, Glaive to Depths. But Max Max has a proxy gate that Hero doesn't know about, and Hero's over here with Phoenixes. This is feeling a little dicey. Max Max is going to push in. I think Hero might just be dead on this side of the map. Super Shield Battery turns on. The first Immortal falls. However, there is a second Immortal here. The probes get pulled. The Phoenixes killed some workers on the other side of the map. So some probes could potentially go down here and it'd be okay. Max Max is going to kill a few. The Phoenixes are coming back. The Phoenixes aren't all that scary. Oh, there's a lift up though. He's going to go ahead and kill one of those uh, stalkers before they get recalled home. I still don't think Hero knows about this proxy. He somehow just barely missed it over and over again. But Hero, he has his Immortal Count reset. He canceled Glaive, so he's going to restart that now and just keep warping in Stalkers, build a new shield battery. Max Max, though, in the meantime, is just taking a third. He was not super all-in committed to that attack. He was just taking the opportunity he had when he saw the Phoenixes on the other side of the map. Uh, I do believe the proxy has been found at this point. No? Man, I swear those Phoenixes were about to fly over it, but I guess they turned around again. Max Max getting into charge. I mean, Glaives will just kind of hard counter charge, weirdly. I mean, I guess not hard counter. It's it's decent against charge. Oops, stalkers are nearby. They will push these Phoenixes away. There's more Stalkers here. Three probes fall, but at the expense of one of the Phoenixes. Oh my god, there's even a probe here for Max Max. How does that probe exist? That's insane. Well, Max Max is moving out. Hero is going to scout. Or, uh, Hero is moving out. Max Max is going to scout this with his probe. So now he's got to get into position. The army supplies in favor of Hero a little bit, but that's basically just the Phoenix is not that big of a deal here. I don't know. This is, this is going to be an interesting fight. Hero's got the War Prism to help him reinforce. He's going to send the Shade up. And threaten to shade with that. He's not going to shade. He's going to instead push it down here at the third base. Oh, there's the big blink forward from Max Max. He's going to take down the War Prism. But during all that, these Adepts are doing a lot of damage. This Immortal back here doing a lot as well. Super Shield Battery turns on. But that is not enough right now to help Max Max out. And this third base, I think, is just going to fall. Ooh, another Immortal shows up in a bad spot. There's no Prism to pick it up. Picking it up with the Phoenixes wouldn't really help here against the Stalkers. The Depth's going to shade forward, though. These Stalkers are trapped. They're going to blink out, but Hero's pushing through. Max Max down to 20 Army Supply, and I think Hero has done it. The Glaive to Depths, the two base all in, and Max Max just couldn't hold. GG. Hero takes game number one of his best of five. Got it in the bag. Nice game there from Hero. Felt like Max Pax was in a very strong position. But, uh, yeah, those Glaives Adepts, I think he really wasn't expecting that kind of push. And the thing about Adepts is you can build a lot of them. They are not very expensive. So you can warp in more than you, like, would kind of expect. Um, and they can overwhelm very quickly. They don't do like a ton of damage to Stalkers, but Stalkers also do very little damage to them. Uh, yeah, and with the Shades, it can be very powerful, as we see there. Really nicely done by Hero.
And now we're going to head to, I believe, Site Delta for map two. There we go. in both players have picked the correct race again so we're good to go all right let's enjoy some more pvp Get into Sight Delta, spawning in the lower right hand corner, up 1 0. It is Dragon Kite's hero. His opponent in the upper left, in the blue for Size Storm Gaming, it's Maxi Paxi. There's always a tight one between these two, always a very, uh, a very fun match. Both players are going to put their gateways on the low ground this time. We might have a nice little macro game on our hands. Maybe a bit more standard than last game. In fact, there is a chance this turns into Phoenix versus Phoenix. Which, uh, it can be really fun. I love some Phoenix versus Phoenix. It can also just end. So, it's a bit unfortunate, but it's, a, it's such a fun little back and forth. Who were we watching? God, it was a couple weeks ago. There was a Phoenix versus Phoenix. I don't remember who it was. I think it was Max Pax, and I think he was up against Nightmare, maybe. I, I, like, part of me wonders if it was just Max Pax versus Hero, but I, I don't think it was. Anyway, there was just so much Phoenix, Phoenix versus Phoenix. Super fun, though. And every game was really different, even though it was all Phoenix versus Phoenix. Every game, like, ended a different way, got there a slightly different way. It was a fun match. This is funny. Both players building zealots to um, potentially stop their opponent from blocking their nexus, but Hero cancels his. Max Pax does not. Max Pax is going to put down the Stargate and let that zealot finish. He's delaying his nexus so that he can um, put some pressure on. This is nice. You do not see this very often. Max Pax is going to block with a pylon. So Hero's Stargate is now out of position. Max Pax could just cancel this pylon. He's actually going to let it finish. Oh, God. Oh, I was not expecting this. Max Pax is getting very aggressive here, putting down the shield batteries. St there is a stalker for Hero. It's going to start working on one. Max Pax is going to wall off with the other one. With the, uh, sorry. Hero's going to wall off the zealot of Max Pax. Getting everything backwards now. So he can try to take down this other shield battery. There is a cancel. And now I think Hero has held successfully. He's going to let that pylon finish. The second Stalker popping out. The Adept can shade through once this uh, pylon dies. But with no Zealot, the Adept becomes a lot less scary. We'll get through. Might be able to get some probe damage here. It's going to need to get a little damage. Because Estrella... Uh, Estrella, Jesus. Bad with all the names today. I feel like my father... Trying to call everybody a different kid's name. Calling the dog a kid's name. Um, Hero is going to have a lot more pro production with this much earlier Nexus. Max Paxis is not done yet. And as this Adept shades in, it's going to get lifted. Ooh, Max Pax wants to come in with his own Phoenixes and catch one of these. But he's not quite going to be able to actually... Doesn't quite get in there on the one as it pops out. Hero, not taking any damage. He is behind a little bit in Phoenix production, but he is getting straight into a Twilight Council, so it looks like Hero is not going to stay on Phoenix production. And Max Pax might go into a second Stargate here. Yeah, there it is. 
So Max Pex is going to commit to Phoenixes, whereas Hero is not. Hero is pushing across with two Stalkers and his Phoenixes. He is, of course, going to be down in the Phoenix count, but the Stalkers can help make up for that. Uh, there's no Shield Battery here for Max Pex, so this is all of a sudden feeling a little bit dicey. Probes are coming out to help fight. And Max Pax is very committed to this. He actually didn't get Warp Gate. So he is fully committed on this. Uh, Phoenix Bath. He's trying to catch some reinforcements here. There is a reinforcing Phoenix trying to come up now. Oh, Max Pax is going to dive on top of this. The Stalker's trying to help fight against it, but I don't think two Stalkers is enough to actually make this happen. Because now that the Phoenixes are dead, the Stalkers will just get lifted. Honestly, good focus fire here out of Hero. Pushes away one of the Phoenixes. But those Stalkers are going to fall. Another Stalker and Phoenix come across, but that is not going to work, my friend. At least he'll get one more Phoenix for his trouble. But now Hero doesn't actually have anything back at home. He is building a Dark Shrine. Where is that Dark Shrine? There it is. It's just in his base. And he's proxying a pylon out on the map. So that could be kind of cheeky. There's no detection for Max Pax. But it's a while before that Dark Shrine is going to finish. And he's trying to pull him away from the base. I'm assuming there are Stalkers. No, there's no Stalkers here for Hero. He's only on two gates. I mean... It feels like Max Pax has won this game. Like, how can Hero compete with this? He can't, right? Building another gate. The only thing Hero's hoping for right now, the only reason he's still in this game, is because he's hoping these DTs can just kill everything. And look at Max Pax, he's like, why are you still in this game? What is happening? Scouts the Dark Shrine just in time to start up an Oracle. And that's just going to be it. That is going to be GG. These DTs cannot get in. The Oracle will pop out. Um, and, I mean, there's two Stargates. He could just keep building Oracles. This is totally fine for Max Pax. Plenty of extra pylons. And that's it. Right? Hero. Hero. There's no way, dude. There's no way. There are... How many phoenixes? Nine phoenixes. Hero's like, I'll just take a third. It'll be fine. Look at look at my three stalkers. They got this. They don't got this, Hero. They don't got this. <laughs> There's too many phoenixes, Hero. They don't got this. The shield battery can't help them. Um, the Oracle just comes over now. Shield batteries out of juice from trying to help the stalkers out. Yeah, I I mean That's just it. That's just the game. There's nothing left. What are these stalkers doing? Max Max doesn't have one or more of the stalkers blink through. There's a recall on the Phoenixes and a recall on the stalkers. Um, I mean. I mean, Hero is, he's going to play this one out, man. <sighs> he's got six Blink Stalkers. He'll warp in two more. Seven, eight, nine against ten Phoenixes. Eh, things are going a little bit better for Hero now. He's got a lot of gateways. So he's warping in more Stalkers. I mean... This is better than I thought it would be for Hero. Don't get me wrong, Max Pax is still ahead. But, Hero's third base. I mean, it's been up for a while. Max Pax just started his. Hero's not putting any probes at it. Because he, he can't defend all three bases right now. I feel like if Hero gets into, like, Archons and Charge Lots here... He could be a very formidable force. Archons are, are a big counter to Phoenixes because they can't lift them. Oh, I don't know what this Voidray is doing, Max Pax. Uh, dying, I guess. 
Max Pax is trying to push out here. Hero is going to find him. I don't know if Hero wants to find him right now. He's going to lose a Stalker for it. Oh, some Stalkers come in from the north side. What are these Stalkers doing, Hero? They're getting lifted is what they're doing, but the Phoenixes are not here to help these Immortals. Down go the Immortals, but charge is done for Max Pax. So the Stalkers have to run away. And a lot of Stalkers are going to go down there for essentially just two... Uh, Two immortals. This is also going to inadvertently lead Max Pax to the proxy gateway, which he will then kill. And Max Pax has now taken a 40 army supply lead. And it looked okay for a little while there for for Hero, but I don't know, Kev. His charge is not done. He does have the Dark Shrine still. He could make some DTs. Or some, uh, I mean, he can't make DTs. He could also make some Archons. I really feel like Archons would be the answer here, but he just doesn't I think he has the money for it. Archons would counter the Zealots and the Phoenixes. But if he had like four of those, if he had like six Archons right now, he'd be cruising. Uh, but he does not. He's going to try to blink back and defend with the shield battery. There's two of them. One's overcharged. It's getting targeted down by the Immortal. Down it goes. Here is doing the best he can. But this still feels good for Max Pax. And oh my god, now Max Pax has a DT. And while there are probes going down to this side of the map, GG is getting called as the DT seals it for Max Pax. Uh, Max Pax was ahead that whole game. Hero, uh, that was. He brought it back a lot more than I had expected him to. I thought he was just dead. I was like, you just leave now. The DTs didn't do anything. You're done. But he, like. Eh, pull it back a little bit. Just not not quite enough. Not quite enough. And then some weird movement in the middle there. Like six stalkers just getting caught and killed while he's trying to move in the middle of the map. I, I just don't think he was expecting that army to be there for Max Pax. Stalkers do not do too well when they're split like that in smaller numbers. It's important. Gotta make sure the cat cam is on the cat. Look at how cute he is on that couch. That couch has been getting covered in fur. Reminds me I need to get a lint roller. <laughs> For that specific purpose. I actually want to get a lint roller for this carpet, too. I have a nice... It's not a carpet. It's a little rug that I have in my living room. Um, but it's just, like... It gets so many, like, hairs in it. A lot of it's my hair. A lot of it's his hair. The vacuum, not good enough to get it out. Does not... It doesn't... Like, it doesn't even try. I bought a vacuum specifically for this rug. And it's just, like... It's just the most useless thing. It might as well not do anything. It's such a terrible vacuum. Actually awful. Anyways, you know who's not awful? Are these players. At StarCraft, anyways. Uh, spawning in the lower right-hand corner of Oceanborn, we have Dragon Kites, a hero in the blue. Make sure the names are on the correct sides here. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner is, of course, Sidestorm Gaming's Max Max. Yeah, I like to make sure the, the names match the corresponding top and bottom of the map spawning positions. It does get annoying on Equilibrium, where they are left to right. I can't do that. But, uh, you know what's funny is GSL doesn't do that. And it's one of those things that, like, I only noticed when I started casting and started doing that, like, specifically. Because I was like, what? Ah, it's so, it's so annoying that they don't do that. Because you'll be like looking and it's just it's just it's upside down, it's backwards. Are the player names reversed? 
Oh. <laughs> I certainly hope not. I think he's saying that because Max Pax is putting his gateway on the high ground. And uh, Hero put his gateway on the low ground. I hope they're not reversed. That would be hilarious, actually. After all this talk of switching the names, if uh, the game like somehow swapped the people. It, it is funny. Hero is doing exactly what I would expect Max Pax to do. And Max Pax is playing this super standard. that to all. I want to do that to Observer. I keep tapping by it. <laughs> uh, Max Pax is going to poke with a uh, an Adept and a Stalker. Oh, somehow I have Referee in this game. No idea how I managed that. Oh, Max Pax is going to one base. <gasps> Did, is, are the names wrong? I'm so confused. This, I legitimately don't think I have ever seen Max Pax do this. I, I don't know, man. I've watched a lot of Max Pax PvP. If he's about to one base, I do not think I've ever seen him do that. Hero, though, kills the Adept, kills one of the Stalkers, loses the Oracle. Crucially, that Oracle would have spotted this proxy pylon. He is building a shield battery. He's got a second Oracle on the way. I don't think he's expecting Max Pax to do this. Why would you? I don't. This is the most un-Max Pax thing I've ever seen in my life. He's proxying the gateway. I, I I, thought it was a joke from Steadfast, but like, this is, this is crazy for Max Pax. This is insane. And Hero is so not expecting it that he didn't build a Void Ray second, he built a second Oracle. That is not something you do here if your, your opponent is one basing you, but why would you expect them to one base you? Ooh, overcharge is available. The pylon's gonna stay alive. Woo, let's go. Hero is staying alive right now. Stalker lasting a long time. Second Stalker warping in, Void Ray almost done. Max Pax's warp gate is done though, and that is gonna be a few more warped in Stalkers as he gets money for it. But the Void Ray is out, second shield battery is up, third shield battery on the way. There's a second pylon as well, which I think powers at least the shield batteries. I don't know if it powers anything other than this gate. Maybe it powers this gate too. If it powers both the gateways, it's in a great spot. Now, uh, Max Pax is continuing to poke in. Trying to get damage done. Blink is about to finish. There he goes. It blinks away. One Adept. The ad purpose of this Adept was to get to the high ground to get high ground vision, but it died. Max Pax, he's in a bad spot right now. This really feels like such a reversal. I like I don't know how to explain to you guys if you don't aren't super familiar with Max Pax's gameplay. This in every other PvP, Max Pax is the one building void rays and stalkers and defending. Ooh, a stalker from the backside here, gonna kill that void ray. I thought it was about to live. And now Hero is out here on the map with non-Blink Stalkers against Blink Stalkers. Did he overstep himself? He is going to clean up a couple more of these Stalkers. And he's got two more out here to help push this away. Yes, he loses a lot. But, I mean, I think Hero's fine with that. He's got two bases. I'm shocked he's continuing to push, but... There's no second base here for Max Pax, so... This feels like it is now an impossibility for Max Pax to push through. If it was Max Pax defending, I would say Max Pax won for sure. Uh, but Hero is a little bit more reckless than Max Pax, as we just saw there. So, slightly more of a possibility for Hero to, to throw from this position. Max Pax, though, he's got the sentry out. He is going to force field. No, he, I thought he for sure he was going to wait for enough energy to hallucinate to blink up into the high ground. But no, he's just going to drop a force field. That is going to allow him to kill this gateway. Yeah, down it goes, even with the overcharge healing it. 
Turns out Stalkers do kind of a lot of damage. And now, two Adepts are going to start to shade through. That's a really annoying thing for Hero to deal with, but he's going to warp in his own Adepts. Nothing kills Adepts quite like Adepts do. A few probes will fall here, but Hero is up 12 workers, so it's actually kind of fine to lose a few. Um, yeah, this is much better for Hero, who kills two Adepts for three probes in this situation. Hero, again, boldly pushing out here with non-Blink Stalkers against Blink Stalkers, but he's just got more stuff and he knows it, so he wants to take this pylon down. That would be huge. Stalkers come back in for Max Packs, but that pylon will go down before that warp in happens. The backup pylon's still only halfway done. I think Hero's done it. I do not think Max Packs can win this game anymore. I think that's it. Max Packs, the only time I've ever seen him one base in pvp with a proxy gateway it just doesn't pan out hero holds that's actually insane they had the exact same apm in that game Wh what they had the exact same average unspent resources too how is that physically possible i feel like today is is the day of of like impossibilities the exact same APM earlier we had both players leave at the exact same time and the game said it was a tie I don't know dude the the like max packs playing like hero hero playing like max packs Jeez. All right, we're going to Golden Ore for the next map. I don't think Magpax is going to be one basing hero again. All right. We're in the lobby, Max Pax needs to be pro toss again. There he goes. <laughs> All right. We're loading in. The <laughs> the the joke of the name swap confused some people. <laughs> One of our casters was a little confused, was like, wait, Hero won that, right? And then the admin was like, was there a bug? No. No bug. As far as, far as I'm aware. Uh, that was just Max Packs doing something we never see him do. And we may never see him do again. And here he is in the upper left-hand corner of Golden Aura, going for the low ground pylon. <laughs> it's Max Packs. Ah, incredible. What a game. What a series. What a day. His opponent in the lower right. Also going for the low ground pylon. Nice to see. It's Dragon Kite's he's hero. Um, I like to see this from Hero. What's really funny is that I've seen this from uh, a couple of the uh, Korean Protoss players. Korean PvP tends to be very aggressive. Lots of like proxy robos, proxy gateways. Three gate robos in the main, like heavy aggression often, often. But Max Pax usually macros it out, plays a, a kind of a greedy game, is able to defend pretty much everything very consistently, which is very annoying if you're an aggressive player. Um, but what's funny is a lot of the Koreans, like they don't even try to be aggressive against them anymore. They just accept it's a macro game, and like, Hero's like, all right, we're just playing macro. 
And I think what Max Max was trying to do was take advantage of the fact that Hero does that to him, right? Hero doesn't like play into his game, which Max Max loves defending those kinds of builds. He loves defending a, a one base play with his two base. He's so good at it that I think he's, he's like favored to win against anybody with that situation. Uh, but in a macro game, like Hero's gonna have a much better shot in a macro game. Hero's really good. And, you know, things can get really wild in a macro game. So, I think Max Max would, like, prefer it be one base against his two defensive bases. Uh, so, I think Max Max is trying to catch him off guard. And maybe wasn't thinking, like, he, he might have been thinking, okay, Hero plays like this against me. But he doesn't play like this against anybody else. Maybe he's not as confident defending these builds. Right? Max Max is super confident with his defense. But maybe Hero isn't quite as confident with a, a like fast expand like this, defending against one base play. Um, bit of a gamble from the Max Packs there. Didn't pan out, but I like the thought process behind it. Unfortunately, Hero does occasionally, I guess unfortunately for Max Packs, Hero does occasionally do a quick expand against players like Firefly or Nice. and I've seen him hold plenty of proxy robos and things like that with a natural base. This is a little uh, a little awkward dance here. Max Pax tries to shade through, and that shade will actually complete. And the Adept might be able to get a couple of probe kills because of that. Probe comes off the line to fight. The other one runs away. The Adept shades on out of there. It is Phoenixes for both players. There's just one on each side right now. Wow, Max Pax immediately puts down a second Stargate. Just right away. He just commits to it. He's like, let's go, dude. You're building a Phoenix? I'm building a second Stargate. All right. So sick. <laughs> so, Hero, if he wants to continue with the uh, Phoenix production, which he uh, he will, his second Stargate's going to be quite a bit later. Straight off here is I think he's a little bit ahead in the Phoenix. Eh, you know what? It's very close. Very close, actually. This is a bit of a problem for Hero right now. Max Pax is going to be ahead in Phoenixes sh shortly. Uh, I'm assuming that was an Adept that came in and got, like, a probe kill. Maybe even... Yeah, it was just one adept. Nice little adept movement there. Hero posturing to take a third base. Keep an eye on that. Phoenix count. Yeah, Max Pax is ahead by one right now. Ooh, tries to lift the, the uh, adept, but the phoenixes are right there. Hero does not want to mess around with that. Hero's down two Phoenixes right now. He needs to Chrono Boost these guys out. Okay, there he goes. Evens it up. And that should be what's out on the battlefield here. Actually, Hero has all seven of his. Max Pax's seven was a little bit late there. That's that close reinforcements from Hero. And I think he Chrono Boosted a little bit more on the double Stargate than Max Pax has. Just how he's managed to catch up. And even now, overtake Max Pax for just the splittest of seconds. Like how Hero put down a pylon by each base. Max Pax is going to take his own base shortly. There's the fleet beacon on the way for both players here. We're heading towards uh, Annie and Pulse Crystals. I actually feel like it's Anion Pulse Crystals. But I heard it pronounced Annie and Pulse Crystals so many times. That that's how I say it. It's funny, I feel like there are some words that we pronounce in StarCraft a little bit differently than you might pronounce in like how they're actually maybe supposed to be pronounced. But I, I don't know what's right and what's wrong. Like, okay, for instance, there's the Ultralisk upgrade, chitinous plating. Chitinous is a real word. Is it pronounced chitinous? I don't actually know. 
Whenever I've heard it in other settings, I have heard shitness. And I don't know if that person was wrong or if I'm wrong and I just pronounce it like we do in StarCraft. I genuinely don't know. And I, an ion is another one. It's A-N-I-O-N. Ion is a word. An ion. Maybe it's a word. And I feel like it would be pronounced an ion. But maybe it's anion. Or an anion. I don't know. But they are pulse crystals. And they are done for both players. So we've got range on both sides here. Max Pax wants to poke in, but he sees with that probe that it is, in fact, range for Hero as well. Both players very evenly timed here. And the Phoenix Scout super close. Now, Mothership is on the way for Hero. That's going to put him a little bit behind in the Phoenix count. He's playing defensively, getting an Oracle out, interestingly enough. Uh, going into two more Stargates, but that's putting him quite a bit behind in the, in the Phoenix count. He's got to be really careful here. Mothership is out. She is here. She is ready to go. As Max Max tries to take this fourth base, Heroes is honestly it's like three quarters of the way done. Heroes just been ahead in the economy for a lot of this game. And now he's going to try to utilize It's not that big of an advantage, to be honest with you, but he's going to try to utilize that and push in here. The Phoenix Town is 21 to 22. Very close. Cool. Oh my god, Hero just dives on top of this. He's so bold. And then he puts the cloaking field on, and you know what? Max Max doesn't have any detection. Oh my god. Well, the cloaking field phoenixes are just going to pick up a bunch of workers. Kill so much of this economy. Max Max. Oh, his own mothership pops out. Now he's got cloaking field, but... Hero's got the Oracle. He can tag. He can see. I see you. Mothership, though. Can't really do anything now. It's already time warped, and it's already used the cloaking field. There is a carrier out as well for Max Max. What's the Phoenix count right now? We got to keep an eye on that. It is in favor of Hero. He also has four Phoenix production because he put down those extra Stargates. So even if he loses more Phoenixes here, he can rebuild them quicker than Max Max can. This is so wild. Keep an eye on that count. It's still in favor of Hero. I think Hero's got this. It might take a little bit of time, but I think he's got it. Look that carrier eating some damage. Super shield battery is on. Hero says, screw it. I'm going in anyways. Turns on another cloaking field. The mothership gets taken down, but there's just... I think there's not enough here for Max Max. Oh, I don't know, man. Ah, mothership staying alive just barely. It does a little bit of damage. I don't know if it's enough though. The carrier is alive, but has no interceptors. It's just there to help tank damage. Cloaking Field is holding on for Max Packs right now. His fourth base is done. The Phoenix count for Hero though, just getting a little out of control. And Max Packs just has to stay at home. More Phoenix is coming out here for Hero. He's not building anything else except for a one mothership. Both players start up their plus one attack at the same time. I can't believe this mothership has stayed alive this long. Woo! So close. So close to going down. Oh, Hero accidentally letting another Phoenix through. Does die. But he still has double the Phoenix count of his opponent. They both lost about the same amount, but... Again, with the four Stargates here, I think there's there's four now for Max Pax as well. So he is producing four at a time. But when you're behind, it's hard to catch back up. Oh, he's picking off some reinforcements here. Getting a little bit sloppy here. Letting himself lose a few Phoenixes. Kills a few probes for it, but not the biggest deal in the world right now. That income slightly in Hero's favor, but it's going to be pretty much even in a second here. Only a few workers different. Max Max just putting pylons down in the main base of his opponent. Just at the bases. You just, I mean, you just love to see it. Hero, in the meantime, 
He's not only taking the fifth base here, he's got a sixth base at the gold. Potential for this one if he's able to kill the pylon. He's just expanding all over the place. And now he is producing four carriers and staying back at home. Max Max has recognized the Phoenixes are no longer moving out. And I think, I guess he probably just sees the carrier being built. So he's going to build his own carriers, take his own fifth. I mean, Max Max isn't dead. The fact that he stayed alive through all that, if they're able to get out to carriers, a, you know, a five Phoenix separation doesn't really matter too much. The carrier count is going to be very similar. That plus one was started at the exact same time for them. This feels like an okay position for Max Max, shockingly. Even though I feel like he took a lot of damage earlier on. It ends up not mattering too much. The biggest thing here is that Hero has a fifth base. Hero's got his gold finishing up. And he's going to be able to take this one soon. I love how the carriers could just pop out and kill this. But Hero doesn't want to waste time for those carriers. So he's just like building a couple of zealots to do it. Do they have warp gate? No, neither player has warp gate. God, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, and Max Pax now taking a bit of a leap of faith here that he can that he has caught up, which he has. And he's going for plus one armor and plus one shields here at the same time as his plus two. Take an upgrade lead, and he absolutely will take an upgrade lead. As Hero hey, is starting up a second uh, cyber core, and he does have plus one shields on the way. So it won't be that big of a, of a lead. There will be a bit of a lead, though. For Max Max in terms of the upgrades. Um, but this is like this is like a real macro game. So usually at this stage of the Phoenix versus Phoenix, somebody is significantly ahead, and then an engagement just kind of happens and the game just kind of ends. Right? That's usually how this goes. I still like this for Hero. Oh, this is so cute, actually. That's so cute. I still like this for Hero because he has more bases right he has the gold and again if he ever decided he wanted to kill this he absolutely could it would not be very difficult um and he could take that base and he's delaying max Pax's expansions but it's not that big of a deal it's not that much more mining for hero it's a little bit more but it's not that much more Army supplies are very similar. In fact, Max Max has pulled ahead a little bit. And with that plus one armor that his opponent is not going to have for another, I don't know, minute or two. I don't know how long upgrades take. Uh, I mean, I feel like Max Max is in a great spot right now. Also, the army composition, very Phoenix heavy for Hero at the moment. Ooh, and as I say that, a couple of them are going to go down to the Interceptors. It's 12 carriers to 9. It's actually going to be 14 carriers to 9. As Hero has more probes as well. So that is basically two carriers worth of probes. Yeah, Hero's killing his own phoenixes here. Is absolutely the right call. Ooh, Max Max doing the same thing with the, with the cannons. He's like, you can't send your army up there to kill it. So here's the thing. If one player sends their carriers up here to kill this, which they'll kill it very easily... The other player could just send their units into this base or the respective base, right? So now things get interesting. It's 14 to 9 carriers, but five more on the way here for Hero. So he'll be down one carrier at the end of all that because he's killed all of his Phoenixes now. There are still Phoenixes left for Max Max, but I think he'll probably kill his too, especially if he realize, realizes that Hero killed his. I genuinely have not seen a high-level PvP look like this in years. I I actually cannot remember the last time I seen I saw a high-level PvP get to this kind of carrier count. Is Hero gonna build Archons? Why High Templar? Well, Max Pax is killing probes. Oh my god, dude, he's killing probes. Oh, what a what a god. He goes down to 70 workers. That's a 22 
army supply difference. That is three carriers and change. And he's going to kill a few more. Goes down to 61. Oh, that's big, dude. That's big. That's a lot of supply for units. Hero needs to recognize that. He's got to do the same thing. He is killing some probes. I don't know where he's killing probes, but he is, in fact, killing probes. But not enough. Right, he's just sending a few out. Just sending them out. Probes on attack move. They almost hit a sentry. They almost got him. Uh, Max Pex, though, he's up in carriers. Does Hero have Storm? Oh, my God, he has Storm? No, he can't use Storm. He'll kill his own interceptors. That can't work, right? He's going to cloak. He's going to Storm. He's just going for it. Oh, my God. Is this going to work? Ah, I mean, that Storm did a lot of damage to all the carriers, but I don't think it's enough. Max Pax has too many carriers. Stalkers on the low ground, though. Archons trying to target them down. Oh, but it's not enough. The interceptors of Max Pax is doing too much damage. And Hero loses absolutely everything. He has three stalkers left. He's going to warp in a bunch more. But there's still 11 carriers alive for Max Pax. And he has all of the interceptors. Because none of them got targeted down. Max Pax had an advantage and he took it. The storm, I mean, a cool idea. But it did not pan out. It just doesn't do damage quick enough. The carriers just killed... Max Pax's carriers just killed heroes before the storms had even completed. There was like eight dead carriers and there just wasn't enough DPS left for hero. I actually thought the stalker follow-up might do something. But then I remembered these are zero, zero, two stalkers. They have plus two shields because both players spent all of their money on upgrades for the other units and... I'll tell you guys, 0-0 zero, zero Stalker is just not that great. Um, now, Hero is going to fight this out. Max Pax, though, he builds a handful of Void Rays, which are not only going to be able to chase these Stalkers, but also, like, they just fight well against them, right? They fight well against them, and they're faster in, in general than the Carriers. Yeah, this is unfortunately for our boy Hero... G to the G. He does have five carriers somewhere. But he's not really going to get any more out. Losing all of his Stargates. All of the pylons powering everything. He's trying to get plus one. He's not going to get plus one. Oh, the Fleet Beacon goes down. That's a lot of Stalkers hitting. This is a lot of 0-0 zero, zero Stalkers. Oh, and there's the recall from Max Pax. Back to his fourth base. Doesn't recall the Void Rays, but not really anything they can do to them anyways. Hero blinks forward to get a Void Ray. Doesn't quite get it. Doesn't even finish off that Stargate. And there's just so many Void Rays. There's 14 Void Rays out right now. <laughs> Look at Hero's like, I'll fall back to my two cannons and one shield battery. I got this. Ooh. Well, the Void Rays can't fight against the carriers, so they will keep running away. Oh, he's going to recall. It's like, how does he have a recall available? It's because he recalled to the mothership earlier, so now he recalls to the Nexus. Just have double recall. All right, Hero. This might just be it. Ooh, he's going to lose some stalkers. I think he's got to go for it, though. Oh, he's not going to win this fight. Oh, there's no shot. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's it. That's it, boys. The Max Pack's going to win the carrier versus carrier game. Hero's going to dive back in. He's going to go for the Nexus snipe. And killing Nexus is cool. Max Pax has no money, I will say. Um, but Hero, he's not going to be able to produce anything, right? What does he have? I mean, he's, he's losing the last of his production right now. He's got a bunch of money, but he's not going to have, like, any income soon. He's at half the army supply of his opponent. There's just no way, right? Oh, There's man, no way. Man. 
wow. Kira can win this. He's fighting it out so hard. We'll, we'll give him a shot here. We'll give him a shot. In the meantime, Diesel MP, Diesel Max Power. Coming in with the 69 month resubscription. What an absolute god. 69 months. Damn, dude. There's hero in this game, but there's the real hero in chat. Diesel MP. My number one sub. Damn. Thank you for the 69 months of support. And also, nice. Nice. Hero is fighting this game out, man. He is fighting it out so hard. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Oh, no, dude. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately for Hero, that is it. He has lost the rest of his army. All of the Stalkers have gone down. He now has five Stalkers and 11 High Templar. There is the GG. What a game, man. That's actually crazy. I feel like Hero was like, what do you do in this game? Do you build Tempests? Like, is Tempest the answer there? Part of me feels like Tempest is, like, an answer. Storm is so... It's such an interesting concept there. I think Storm just doesn't mesh very well with... Uh, I think Storm just doesn't mesh really well with carriers because you kill your own interceptors. Yeah, Steadfast also saying that's something he's never seen. That was... I mean, like, again, Phoenix versus Phoenix happens occasionally. And within that small subset of games, which right now, Phoenix versus Phoenix is probably like 5 to 10% of high-level PvPs, right? Specifically, really, only against Max Packs, because nobody else opens this consistently with the, like, one gate, star gate, as he does. So sometimes players will open that way, too, like Hero did. So it's, like, only maybe 30% of the big Max Packs PvPs turn into Phoenix versus Phoenix. Maybe even... 15%, honestly. It's just... And then, like, the small subset of those games go long enough, and both players stay on Phoenixes enough to get to carriers. And then, I mean, I genuinely have never seen us get to, like... Both players have carriers, and neither player really feels like they can just win. So we're just like, okay, well, with static defense, things get a little spicy. Like, let's just keep macro in, I guess... And then, um, I mean, we just had, I, honestly, I feel like Hero was like, is Storm good here? You don't, the, the thing is, you don't practice that game state. Even a player like Hero, with a billion games under his belt, he's not going to practice that game state. What, is he going to bust out of customs against Creator and be like, let's just build carriers and see what happens? No, dude. Hero probably hasn't played a carrier versus carrier game in in like three years. <laughs> Why would you? It's actually insane. It's like, okay, if you play StarCraft and you play Protoss, you're probably like, no, dude, carrier versus carrier happens all the time. I promise you, if you're above like 5K, it does not. It absolutely does not. It like never comes up. That just... And if it does, if we get carrier versus carrier, there's already like an established ground army for both players where both players have all of the other things, right? Sometimes we will get into carriers, but it's like there's a stalker, archon, immortal army, there's zealot run bys and DT run bys. And if carriers are coming out, it's like there's like a main army of carriers and archons or something. And then... Uh, there's like the blink stalker transitions always a threat, you know, which I feel like was where hero was going with it He was like, "Ooh, 
Well, the Blink Stalker follow-up can be really good. Even if you lose the carrier fight, sometimes you can finish them off with a Blink Stalker warping because it's so quick. But because they got there with no Stalker upgrades, it was like, oh, no, actually, they're just garbage against the 2-2 carriers. Um, I can safely say I've never seen somebody storm carriers in a pro game. I, like, that just that does not happen. And look at this. Hero's like, yeah, screw that. <laughs> <laughs> Proxying at Stargate. Okay, it is a Stargate, though. I actually thought that was going to be a gateway. I thought he was just full one basing. Maybe he still is. Because it is the two gate opener. But yeah, Storms, because they hit your own interceptors, I didn't, I don't like hate the idea of Storm in carrier versus carrier. But I feel like you have to use it really strategically, where like if their interceptors pop, you run away instead of fighting and storm their interceptors. And that could catch them so off guard, you might be able to just kill like a ton. Because if you run away and their interceptors attack you and then they pull back and then the interceptors go back through the storm, that could get really, really dicey. Like, I actually think if Hero, in that position... Um, talk about this game momentarily. <laughs> if Hero, in that position, had just stormed the Interceptors, and instead of A-moving, just move commanded back to his base, he might be able to kill enough Interceptors there to, like, do something. Or if Max Pex keeps pushing forward, then he is taking a whole damage on his carriers, and the Interceptors, in the meantime, are going straight into the static defense of Hero. I don't know. It's an interesting thought. Now, here's going to come in here with the Oracle. He's going to grab three kills, four kills. He's going to just keep this Oracle here. He's getting the fifth kill. Loses the Oracle, but sacrifices a few, uh, or gets a few probes for it. His base, though, is a little later. So, even though the worker count was even there for a second, Max Pack should be able to jump ahead now. The double chrono, double production. Hero building Phoenixes now. But uh, it was actually a robo out of Max Pax because Max Pax thought this was going to be uh, not a proxy Stargate. So he went robo first. So now the Phoenixes feel a little bit weird here for, Mac or for a hero. They're going to get scouted too as Max Pax is going to see this Stargate. The thing for Max Pax here is he's on such a small unit count that, like, four Phoenixes can actually be really dangerous to this. And, of course, they can kill the War Prism very easily. Good night, Senji. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you, buddy. First in chat. Got to get some sleep sometimes, though. 5 a.m. Dude, stand up to watch StarCraft at 5 a.m. is... It's just pure passion. Ooh, Phoenix is going to come in here now and... Pick off a few probes. It's going to be really difficult for Max Pax to deal with this. Oh, even going to grab the sentry. Nice catch. He's got the uh, Adepts out here ready to posture through, too. <laughs> Max Pax just lifting up that probe to keep it safe. That's so funny. Can you lift units into a warp prism that have been lifted by the Phoenix? I don't think so. But that would be a kind of cool, like, override system. Where you can then, like, grab the units from the Gravitron beam of the Phoenix and then just pull it into the War Prism. That'd be kind of cute. I love how uh, active Hero is being with these. Just trying to keep that probe count down, work on some stuff. And in the meantime, Hero uh, is getting his own Immortals out. He's going to put down his own Twilight Council for Blink. That being said, Blink... Already about halfway done here for Max Pack, so those Blink Stalkers are going to be a big threat. And now the four Adepts will shade through. Not finish that shade, though. We could go into the main base. Going to draw the whole army up here. Ooh, good positioning for Max Pack with those Stalkers. Hero's going to recall, but he's going to lose one, just one of those Adepts. A couple of probes do go down. I think one Phoenix just died there. It sounded like a dying Phoenix in the corner. 
sound does a dying phoenix make, you ask? Oh, 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 oh. That's the sound. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that before. Ooh, and actually this uh, Twilight Council is going to be for charge, not blink. I generally like that as a response to uh, to blink from your opponent. Both players are going to go ahead and take third bases here. All right, got a bit of a macro game on our hands. Looks pretty aggressive from here early on. and Some stuff has certainly transpired, but ultimately it feels like we're in a very even situation. Hero going straight for the Charge Lot Immortal Archon composition. Skip and blink. It is interesting to see a little uh, bit of a difference between the the two play styles here. And Max Max, because he's been playing so defensively against the Phoenixes, he hasn't really been able to move out with these Blink Stalkers at all. And that's where they get a lot of their power, is being out on the map, picking off units here and there. They say the Zealots charge, and they can just pick off like two or three and then back up. Um, you know, picking off probes or pylons out on the map, stuff like that. But because they're busy dealing with these Phoenixes, which they did just kill one more. Did you hear that? Red as it died? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Because he's busy dealing with those, the star stalkers are staying back at home. Oh, and there's charge for Max Packs. Funny how um, passive they're being. It's really only the Phoenix is doing anything. Oh, Phoenixes find the fake one, they find the hallucination. You're, you're not a real phoenix. Phoenix. We gotta kill the fake phoenix. This game is so even. Like, supply-wise, insanely even. The plus one is like 20, 30 seconds faster for max packs. Um, it looks like he's gonna get into disruptors now. And this is where things get a little interesting. Link stalkers and disruptors mesh really well together. They don't mesh super well with charge lots, I'll tell ya. But it looks like Hero's heading that direction as well. Maybe we'll see Colossi here. That'd be cool. Love to see some Colossi in uh, PvP. Very rare. It does happen occasionally. I love that they changed Archons to only be one space. It makes them so much better. Like, it's funny how the biggest buff to Archons was just they're, they can squeeze through gaps now. That's it. They like they just they're just the same width as an immortal. <laughs> but it's such a huge buff. A couple of adepts over here keeping an eye on this army and probably dying to do so. And it looks like Hero wants to attack. He's gonna dive in here. There are a bunch of stalkers missing. There's no shield battery just yet. The five immortals are eager to shoot some stalkers. Oh man, Hero has put himself in a spot here though. It'd be tough to leave. Oh my god, it's a Colossus! I wasn't lying to you guys. Max Pax is, of all the Protosses, the most likely to build Colossi. When I think about Colossi in PvP, he's the one I've seen do it like three times. So, in my mind, he does this. Back in the day, I remember when Max Pax first really started playing competitive. Um, instead of just being, you know, a ladder guy who we knew from beastie cutie i remember he had a pvp build that was like skip warp gate and it was just pure robo power it was okay anyways i still think about that still think about those days now there are some disruptors here for hero he's gonna throw those shots out 
I like this little zealot trying to get on top of the Stargate. Stargate's not really doing anything anymore, but it is going to force Hero's army over here. And in the meantime, here's four Zellies going into the natural, and there is not a lot of defense against those. Does Hero have a warp in available? Looks like the answer to that is yes. Prison, though. Going to keep on moving. Force another warp in over here. Ooh, Max Max needs to be really careful with his army. That split super weird. He's going to lose an Archon because of it. However, Zealots uh, get warped in over here. The Phoenix is trying to kill this prison, but it gets recalled in time to get out of there. And this is causing some real damage to Hero. This is, like, really bad. 15, 18 probes going down. He loses a pylon powering three gateways. Oh, my God. Hero still struggling to deal with this. He's going to lose another... Pylon. This one just powering the Robo Bay, but that could be big if he wants any upgrades from that later on. There are six disruptors here, though, but the three Colossi from Max Packs are going to be huge against the Zealots. Look at how quickly they just die. Woo -hoo -hoo. Disruptor Nova's going forward, though. One of those Colossi going to die to the Phoenixes, which are actually kind of nice here for Hero. Spy's very similar. Hero is down quite a few workers, but. He's just going to re-max out against the, uh, uh, sorry, he's going to re-max out with his army. So those zealots get cleaned up. Hero's going to push right back in. Phoenixes do get targeted down. Disruptor Nova's diving forward, keeping Max Max on the retreat. There are still five immortals here, too. These guys do big damage to the Stalkers, which is the bulk of Max Max's army. Super Shield Battery turns on. But that is not going to be enough here. And it looks like Hero might be able to just push forward through for the win. Disruptor coming out from Max Pax, but it needs a pretty big hit. And it's not quite going to get it. Ooh, some Zelts from the backside, though. Max Pax with a full surround here. He's got a lot of army supply. Big hit on the top. The Stalker's going down. Big hit on the Zealots. I don't think Max Pax has enough. He's just eating Disruptor, hit after Disruptor, hit. There are nine Disruptors here. Oh, well, looks like some reinforcements going to get caught. I mean, a lot of probes going down on Hero's side of the map at the same time. But look at the army supply, 102 to 46. I think that says it all. And while probes went down for Hero, Max Pax is losing a Nexus. And this base is now in some trouble. Stalkers are coming down to defend it. There's still four living Immortals. Stalkers are here. And the Disruptor Novas are just non-stop. Oh, Max Max from the high ground. He does get a couple Disruptors. Is that enough for him to take this? Oh, no. The army from the backside. I think that's going to be too much. It's feeling like Hero's got this game. As he's very close to killing one more base, he needs to make sure his army is a little bit more grouped together, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter. He's going to catch a bunch of these stalkers. GG gets called. Hero takes game number five. And will take down Max Packs in the grand finals of this week's EPT Cup. GG.